yeah. part of it as well, right? Yeah. But yeah. Andy needed a partner to go play um, Warhammer 40K. And then Tusi was in, in Evansville, and him and Jared were like as a team, and it was like a team tournament. Right. So Andy needed a teammate. And so I said, yeah, I mean, I'll learn to play. And Jared has enough stuff. He loaned me uh, a Space Marine army, or like made me a little Space Marine army, right? Okay. And which is fine. Like, I mean, I, I'll play game. I'll play whatever. Right. I don't, I don't really care about that. I just didn't have like the, I didn't want to invest in 40 gay. Right. So anyway, we go to this tournament and there is a, um, basically one model that is effectively that un, is. unbeatable. Okay. So uh, it's like this, it's a giant, yeah, it's a knight. It's an Imperial knight. knight. Right. Okay. So, so, and it, it basically, is, robot. it's basically the whole army for these guys. Right. And it's almost unbeatable, but it is, I would say it's unbeatable in the configuration our army had. Like to for for us to like lock it down and kill it, I would have had to spread all my guys out. But it turned out Andy's army had basically the foil to that, you know, unit. I mean, it wasn't right. exactly a, a, like an easy kill on it, but it was like a way to kill it. He had a way to do it, but he didn't want to. Yeah, he didn't want to buy the codex, or I don't know if it was that. He didn't bother to learn the rules for his army. Oh. And so we had just been getting stomped all day. And I'm playing just vanilla Space Marines. They just come at stuff with a lot of dice, right? Like, they're not yeah. the ones I was playing. And Jared, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't feel really specialized. It just felt no. like I was coming at somebody with weighted dice. And yep. I didn't I didn't have a lot of special rules. I just had some rerolls and stuff. There wasn't any gimmicky stuff. But Andy had yeah, gimmicky it was stuff. it was Lee doesn't know how to play. Let's give right. him this. <laughs> well, right. yeah, right. yeah. I mean, so and that was fine for me. But I was kind of mad at the end of the day. Like we kind of had a shitty day playing because we'd run into these teams that had these damn knights and we just get completely stomped. Like it was not fun to play against. Yeah. And then yeah. near the end of the day, I find out that Andy actually has you know, if he'd known how to play his army at all, like put any effort in it at all, we we would have had like, you know, we probably still would have lost because it was Andy, but we might have, you know, not <laughs> had as bad of a day. Yeah. It was kind of frustrating. Remember, I still remember when you were telling me about what's happening. I go, why didn't you just, why didn't Andy just kill it? Well, yeah. <laughs> and you just looked at me like, what do you mean? I said, well, yeah. he has the best book in the game to handle this. Like, he literally just does this one stratagem, drops these guys in, and it dies every time. God. And the look on your face was fucking just... priceless. <laughs> God. I mean, I had spent priceless. a whole day playing a game that I was not invested in to hang out with my buddies, and I was really just not having a good day. I mean, I can deal with losing. Like, that's I can deal with it. Sure. But it's not fun to just get crushed no, it's not. over and over well, and, and especially over. Especially with Andy's attitude when you're, well, getting, yeah. when you're getting crushed. His attitude yeah, and, was and then it, yeah, his sh attitude was shitty. And then it, you know, it was his fault we were getting crushed, right? <laughs> like, you know, it's just like, God damn it. What are you, damn it. So. <laughs> Lee's, anyway. Lee's still better, you can tell. I, <laughs> I will never play, if he asked me to, I will never learn a game to play with him again in something like that. I mean, if we're all going to do something, that's fine. But I am not going to go be his partner in a tournament anywhere no, 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 for no. anything. I mean, that's I, funny. well, I, you know, it sounds like it was just a yeah. I mean, you know, getting stomped into the ground is just never fun like that. It's it just well, never no. is. And yeah, I, I know, mean, man. it can be if there literally is nothing you can do about sure. it. Right? Like you, you played your game and it went bad. Yeah. Well, fuck. Yeah, well, it also yeah. that we we just came across those nights for several of our games, right? And then to find out at the end of the day that, well, yeah, he could have just done this and like that would have, you know, helped. I, I was well, the thing is, the funny thing is, is you kept coming across them yeah. because they kept losing, too. Yeah, well, <laughs> and, uh, Eric's. we weren't playing good players with them either, so we definitely should have won. But it just it, the whole thing was frustrating, and I won't do it again. <laughs> but but we are looking forward to getting drunk and playing uh, Team Lord of the Rings. Oh Netflix. yeah, yeah, oh absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I'm down for Lord of the Rings. I mean, I'm not saying I won't play something with Andy. Like I would play uh, Team Arena Rex or like some other team game where I knew the game and could help him. But like, and if I had known the Gene Steeler stuff, I just would have helped him, and we would we would have been fine. But I didn't know it. You honestly probably would have been playing top tables. And and I wasn't, um, 
I didn't come to be the person who knew a lot about 40k. I came to be the like, hey, I'm just gonna play and help you out and like hang out with my buddies all day. And it just ended up being not that great of a day <laughs> because of bullshit. Well, so uh, anyway, and I should have known that going on with Andy. I know how Andy is. I mean, it, it's as much my fault as it is his, but I take a small percentage of responsibility. Well, I created the, that monster. I guess. To but, a point. Well, and then the more frustrating thing is he sells out of 40k like a few weeks later. And I have not expressed this this anger toward Andy. Like, you guys have heard way more of it than, than he has. heard of it. Yeah, I didn't tell him. You know, oh, I yeah. Like, well, it's him. not what's the it, point. Not, yeah, it's <laughs> like, not going to do any good. Yeah. It is, it's not going to do any good other than being therapeutic for me, but it just make him mad. <laughs> and I don't think he'll really understand why I was mad, so. Uh... What are we mad about? Oh, you know. <laughs> Everything. Remember that 40k tournament you went to with me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We were just talking about that. We, oh. we were talking about how Lee's still bitter. Oh, bitter at Andy? Yeah. 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 For He just he just uh, didn't didn't play right, right? Uh, I, I didn't get the just didn't, yeah, he, just, he just he just he just kind of did shit and didn't really <laughs> care about anything. Is that is that the gist of it? Well, yeah, he yeah. had the he had the gene stealer cult, right? Which I, I at think, the time was OP. Well, yeah. and it was well, he was he was complaining about not being able to kill knights with it. I said, why didn't you just use the one stratagem where you drop in three inches from them and then go kill the fuck out of them? Yeah, <laughs> they were the only codex that could reliably deal with knights in like one turn, and <laughs> so it was funny. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, it was real funny. Still better. Anyway, got it. <laughs> Yeah, please, please still upset. I'm, I'm a little still just a smidge bitter about, about that. That's fair. Uh, what's up, Greg? Oh goodness. But, it's totally fair. You spent, you, you, you spent your time to go up there, play a game system. You don't really play that much, right? I, I don't play it, right? Yeah, I learned there you it go. just to go up and basically <laughs> hang out with my buddies for the day, and, uh, you know, I, here we are. Yeah, and I was playing a simple, right, just a horde of space marines. It was fine, right. but uh, we kept running those damn knights, and it was just, yeah, he had a way to deal with them all day, but he didn't learn his army, so. Checks out. Anyway, yeah, it does. We are where we are. I think you're in here, right? Yeah. I was just listening. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking his head. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. All right. I need to open the shit yeah, up I still. Think, uh, remembering how glad I am to not be playing Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I, mostly, uh, mostly the money part of it, not the, the actual. Fin play. Financially, it's tough. Although I'm, I am Andy. very. Uh, I don't, I don't think this whole rules thing is going in the right direction. But that's that is a conversation for another day. <laughs> yeah, I, I think. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I'm starting to see the light there. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to die anytime soon, and I've got a bunch of shit I have to paint anyways. Uh, and currently, my book is probably OP, so I'm fine with it. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody want to yeah. give me the 10,000 foot, like, what's going on with the rules without getting off in the weeds? It, uh, essentially, they, they had 8th edition. Okay. And 8th uh -huh. edition was a, con they were like, we're going to condense all the rules and make this simple. Great. Awesome. Uh, and they did a good job with that. But then, like, right when everything around 8th edition started to settle down, they were like, ah, fuck it, 9th edition, let's go. And um, uh, they basically just, every codex that comes out next, they've kind of turned the codex creep up to 1,000, like, just up a notch. Oh, so, okay. And every every book that comes out now is completely different. And the rules, like, some of it's OP, some of it's you know, fine, but, uh, you know, generally it's stronger than the book that came before it, no matter what, and then it's also just so complicated. Like, it just, it, it, it honestly looks like I, they got the new Adeptus Mechanicus book, and literally reading it is like that fucking uh, um, meme from uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia with Charlie, like, trying to figure shit out. That's what I feel like <laughs> I'm trying to do with this goddamn book. Uh, and it's just so complicated, and it, it doesn't yeah. i can't imagine it's going in a better direction so like they had a good thing and they were like they just fucked it up and yeah it's 
I slow. can't imagine we I can't imagine we go take a two steps back uh, or one step back or I don't know. It's it's nuts. No. That's that's my two cents on it. But their marketing like division it. sounded like it was selling good, so they're like, yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, yeah it it's selling like fucking hotcakes. Oh yeah, they're making money hand over fist. It uh, it sounds like they're trying to steal Infinity players. <laughs> I don't know that much about Infinity, if but if they love Infinity. really complicated uh, <laughs> rules interactions, uh, yeah. then, then I'm that, sure they'd love it. That is the majority of Infinity is complicated rules interactions. Yeah, too. See, I, I looked at, I played Infinity for a while, and I said, nope, this is not, this is too much. It's not fun. And I like complicated rules. It's like, no, that's a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. All right, we ready to, ready to take off? Yeah. Like where are we I'm at? I think we were going back to town, right? Yeah, we were. We were yeah. Yeah. You guys have arrived in town. All right, we bailed. Oh, wait. I need to pull Deuces. that primer so I know who the fuck we're talking to. That's a good point, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, Lee is lay wounded, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wounded, too. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah, that's why we went back resting. to town. Did that's the dosey right. dose with death. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, the dosey does with death. Is that what you said, Greg? Dosey does with death. Yep. <laughs> Not wrong. Fantastic. Let's see. Fantastic. Oh gosh, I need books and dice and shit. I've been here for an hour, and I, I haven't wanted anything out. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Ruins of the thirsty alpaca. God, that sounds like a great spot. <laughs> Dude, I would, I would absolutely drink at the thirsty alpaca. Yeah, I would, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the thirsty alpaca would probably be like a cougar spot. <laughs> it just feels bad. Well, I think the rowdy well, rock got, fish is got... the tavern. No, the rowdy rock fish is actually a really nice place. Yeah, right. It just sounds like it's yeah. <laughs> it sounds not nice, yeah, but it's, you know it's real calm. I guess uh, where's. Is there an inn here, like somewhere I can go crash and? Yeah, there's uh... a couple. Where's the fuck? Unless you guys have specific interactions you want to make with the townsfolk, um, you can just kind of tell me what you want to do and and go for it. We don't have to have dialogue for everybody unless there's something specific you want to ask somebody specific about. I figure we just want to rest up and get back at it. I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't gotten deep enough to have any questions yet. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yep. Uh, anybody have the standard rates for uh, subsistence uh, by chance? Let like me. just just but... so I know what an end like a one night in end is gonna be. For, uh, what would that be? Not a crazy rate. It's under like society and survival. Yeah. yeah. Let me look. Yep. I just don't want to look it up in the book. Society. I'm clicking. Get my book open here. Or wait, uh... Oh. I, I think there's, like, a different table somewhere, what, actually. Where is that? Uh... Subsist? Maybe? Let me I look. think you can take a society or survival check to bypass the table or something. <sighs> Standard of living described on page 294? All right. Um, I got it. Uh, subsistence, uh, four silver pieces a week. Uh, Comfortable is one gold piece a week. Oh. Oh, I see. So I see, I see. basically you're at one gold piece a week. Okay. Uh, if you want comfortables. What, what's that do if you're comfortable? Anything? I, I don't feel nice. So. I'm a plant. You feel nice. So... <laughs> Photosynthesis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So subsistence. Uh, you try to provide food and, sh food and shelter for yourself, uh, and possibly others with a standard of living. Um, you find it. Uh, so if you if you take survival check, and if you find enough food and shelter with basic protection from the elements to provide you living, uh, if you fail, you're exposed to the elements and don't get enough food, becoming fatigued uh, until you attain sufficient food and shelter, and then you attract trouble. If a critical failure, eat something you shouldn't, or otherwise you have a minus one circumstance penalty to all checks to subsist for one week. So you um, can basically just pay, you can either pay four silver pieces or take a society check. Yeah. And you're good for a week. I'm going to try the check. 
I'll pay the gold piece. I got oh. twenty five. Oh, a gold, a gold piece. You're gonna go for comfortable living. Oh, is you it? Don't want just a subs subsistence is fine. Oh, okay. That's then just yeah, like you're that. staying in a shitty inn, like. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay the fork, silver, whatever. Yeah. I'll oh, here it. we go. Hey, I found a bad. table, a better table. Uh, looks like lodging at a a private room is eight silver pieces. A lodging in a bed is one silver piece. Per I'll name. take I'll take the bed. Lodging lodging floor space is three copper pieces. So nobody's mm -hmm. sleeping on the floor. These are nice places. Okay. So yeah. they will offer you a they will offer you a private room which you guys they'll pull in some beds. You guys can split the eight silver pieces for a night if you guys all want to sleep in the same room. Oh, so like two each? Okay. Yeah, we'll just do two silver okay. pieces a night if you guys are fine with staying together. Yeah. I will. I'm fine with that. I think it makes sense. In our thingy somewhere. If you guys can deal with bird snoring. <laughs> and plant oh, humming. No I hum when I sleep. Plant. You hum when you sleep? <laughs> yeah. Plant it's, a, it's a low drone. It's like a fan. It's like a, mine's like a snore whistle. <laughs> yeah, mine's just like a... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be over here fucking losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, just drop two drop two silver pieces. You guys can rest for the night. Oh, you're good to go. Fuck. If you don't need any adventuring supplies or anything of that nature, you guys can take back off whenever you're ready. I don't think it's worth getting anything. Yeah. yeah. I think you're ready to go back. Mm -hmm. Let's make it. Yep. Uh, how much? What hit points do you get back for sleeping? Is level it? times con mod, level I think. Level times con. Yep. And if you have a healer, they can cast their healing spells on on rest, and then you can rest again. Oh you yeah, stay I guess that's days. right. Yeah, I did. That's have if a... if you stay multiple days, but I don't think you have any spell slots left, do you? Uh, I think I used all my heals last time. Yeah, I, I think, think I that did. was part of the oh. we're going back. So yeah, I'm out that's of why, because I ran out of heals. Yeah, yeah, that is right. <laughs> so do what? we want to stay extra t extra time? I'm up to seventeen out of eighteen. I'll be fine. Uh, I mean, I can. I can Your lay on hands myself. Away. Yeah, my wound is gonna go away, but I can I can lay on hands myself by every ten minutes, right? Because then uh, I get a focus. Uh, I get a focus back. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, I, I would say I, there's probably a limit to that, but I'd let you do yeah. it at least twice. I mean, twice or three 12, times or whatever. That's twelve hit points. So. How hurt are you? Uh, I don't. I didn't mark it down last week. I was low. I was at like six, but uh, terrible. I mean, eighteen. Well, that'll max, put you to. So. That'll put you to full. Yeah, we'll I just know. say you made it with laying hands on yourself. And mm -hmm. uh, there's actually yeah. a shrine to your god in town, by the way. It's, oh, it's there the is. Yeah. All right. It, it's the brewery. I I would say any drinking establishment is a shrine to my god. I know, but this one's an actual shrine to your god. Oh. It's in the it's in the thing. The brewery's proprietor. Fancy. I don't see it in my thing. It's about the crow's cask. Yep. It's in there. I read the I read the primer. Agaloy. A little oh, personal yeah. accountability there. Trying to kill. <laughs> <laughs> I think you threw what did I did I say that to you? Oh, here's another one. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. It's in two different places. It is in two different places. Okay. I read the the one place, but not the other. I was only half accountable. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we will uh, we'll form right back up here. All right. Thank you, Magic Cap. Are we back outside the gates here, standing around? All right. Can I do a survival yeah, check and see if I find any more berries on the way back? Sure. Uh... Yeah. How's a 16? You find uh, eight berries. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, all right. Little swampy berries. Swampy berries. They look fine. <laughs> Just a little Alrighty. funky. Mm. <laughs> so as you guys approach the... Uh, as you guys approach the uh, your area here, you see you see there's a a little guy standing right there. 
uh, and you hear him, uh, you hear him like a little squeaky voice in the distance, and he, you see him dash off this way, and disappear. Over in there. Yep, over in there. All right. Well, uh, like I'm a st- lookout or something. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be sneaky and see if I can sneak around. Um, okay. See how this works. Geronimo. Oh, shit, I rolled a 20. Um, so, yeah. I am... I've got 27. Uh, and I okay. am very sneaky. Uh, okay. Let's see. What's the... God, I really need to pay better or remember how everything works. Uh, okay. So, I'm not hiding. I am sneaking. So I'm undetected by creature during my movement and remain undetected by the creature at the end of it. Um, okay. Yep. So, uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to basically sneak all the way up to here. Are you going to, how are you going to get up there? The drawbridge is broken. All uh, right. I got to go all the way. Yeah. I got to go all the way down and then over and then, and then climb Swim back across up. and then climb. Yep. Yeah. So that's five, 10, 15, 20. Um, I don't know. You're gonna let me know. Oh, actually, you have to take this. You're you're the one who's supposed to take the sneak rolls. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's okay. fine. Nobody saw you. You uh you get back over to the the drawbridge area and you you pe- you peek into that room and you see that it, it looks like it's empty. Uh, right. There's you know some flies and stuff kind of buzzing around. The corpses don't look like they've been moved. All right, I'm going to, at this point, I'll just kind of, like, wave back. Uh, I'll give everybody the the old secret hand sign. Uh, you know, um, round up. Keg's here. Yeah. Party time. Party time, yep. Excellent. Um, I guess I will walk forward, fall off. Yep. Move across. Don't take any damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of float down. <laughs> It's like a leaf. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll flutter down with my slow okay. fall and climb back up. Greg's going out and around. Yep. <laughs> Went out the left. You left your Batman laying back there in the road. Too lazy to move it. Until yeah. He's... Uh, okay. He's gonna figure it out. <laughs> you know you can drag select him. Can you? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Fancy. You're welcome. Lifesaver. Wow. I know. You DM think I've played enough StarCraft to know that, but... <laughs> Alrighty. What do you guys got cooking? Uh... I will remind you that you did nothing in this room but fight and run away. True. Since it's been a week. Um... True. Literally was, hey, we're hurt bad, there might be more coming, we're getting the fuck out. Yeah. Or... Are all the white things doors? Is that or windows? The white or... things are doors. Okay. That is correct. Are they all closed or any of them open? They are all closed. Oh. All right. I would I would like to go to this door and are listen. Are there still corpses as well? There are still corpses. Okay. Now let me talk. I need to scroll to the right rooms. I'm going to yeah. I'm going to go listen, listen at this door too while while you're at it. I'm going to which door? Greg is looting the room. Look at Greg go. All right, where are we at here? Greg's going to be combat looting here in a second. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the least yeah, dangerous it... position. Uh, you don't find... Uh... Anything. Yada, yada, yada. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you don't find anything on them. Uh, there's like, they have little, like, uh, like handmade darts. But they were, you know, throwing at you. Uh, you you're listening at the door to your left, Lee? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. All right, give me a perception. Uh, I got a 15 plus a. Is it on the sheet? It's been a whole week. <laughs> oh, uh, 18. You don't hear anything mm-hmm. through the door. Okay. 
before I act, I'll wait and, and see if Tusi hears anything through his door. Tusi's on the right door. Yep. All right, Roger that. Let me scroll just a little bit. Let me know if you need me to make a check or anything. Um. Uh... Okay. You hear uh, high-pitched squeals and shrieks coming from within that door. Oh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make signals to everybody that uh, that they're in here. Um, just, just some frantic pointing and shit. Okay. <laughs> Trying to keep Give it quiet. Tips. Over here. All right. Well, I've abandoned my door. Okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm up high here, right? Do I see anything while I'm up here? Uh, it's just the ceiling. There's like rubble, and it's open to the ceiling. Oh, okay, it's just like an open or like the ce- yeah. There's it's open to the sky. Gotcha. I'll just come down and you know fall in line. Okay. <clears throat> there's a note about all these doors somewhere. How do right. these doors look compared to the other the doors coming in? Because the first one's like rotted, right? Uh, this one is a wooden door that is in better shape than the first one, but it's you can tell it's still worn. It's still worn. <laughs> yep. God. Yep, yep, yep. What are you guys up to? Uh, well, at this point, I'm going to try to... Waiting for someone to open it. <laughs> well, um, I guess, can I sneakily open it? Uh, let's see. I don't know. I guess, yeah, that's the that's the next step. I'm just going to try to open it, and uh, I'm going to ready an action to tumble through uh, if if uh, I kind of end up, like, right next to somebody. Um, try to move through them so I get further into the room. But if I'd there's like nobody to... like, right in front of me... I'd like to go ahead and get my shield and sword out and and ready uh, before he opens this door. Oh, that's fair. I should ready have my. You, I should have my raise shield your shield. Oh uh, yeah, my shield is raised. Lesson learned. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson learned. Yeah, I, I have my club right, and my right. my shield raised as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tsusi, what's your stealth mod? Uh, seven. Okay. Uh, go ahead and put that in for your initiative, or I can put it in for your initiative. Seven? Just my mod? Yeah, not seven. No, not just your mod. <laughs> I was like, God. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Do you want me to roll it? No, I got it. Oh, okay. Uh, I got it in there. Uh, oh, all right. I see. So, TC, you are going to, uh, you're going to open the door. Uh, what's everybody else's stealth mods? Just curious. Plus two. Plus one. Two. Six, apparently. Now, with my shield raised, that raises my AC, doesn't it? Raises it by two. Fuck you. because it matters. Okay. So you see you managed to uh, you managed to sneakily open the door and you see uh, almost the entire ceiling of this room has collapsed while uh, has collapsed while below the floor is crumbled into a 10 foot deep sinkhole filled with rubble mud and glistening patches of fungus evidence of ancient damage burn scars and acid scorch marks decorate the walls and much of the rubble um, so there are uh, four of the little gremlin dudes scurrying around the hole uh, amid the rubble um, and they're kind of uh, 
right now you see him you see him scurrying around and one of them's holding up a blue worm uh and looks like he's about to take a bite and the other one's trying to grab it from him okay um can you and they're kind of down can we yeah i'll share, share just a second i've got to move these tokens because they are on the gm layer for reasons Token layer. Look at you go. You guys have to remember how to play every week. I have to remember how to how to manipulate this thing. I I feel you. It was yeah. the same way earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot you were running it too. Yep. So if you get stuck, ask me. Maybe I know how to do it. You might. I might. We're just, we're just gonna do this number right here. Okay. You say this is there a 10-foot hole? Uh, it is a 10-foot deep sink hole filled with mud, rubble, and glistening patches of fungus. They're kind of on the edges and uh, and stuff and things. How did they get and deep down there? Is it here? Is that like a they climb down on this rubble or? I mean, it's it's not like a it's not like a steep grade. Like oh. it's not like a, a steep drop. It's it's a sinkhole that's that's on the edges. It's, it's all difficult terrain. Okay. Okay. To, in basically anything that's in in that like outer circle is yeah. difficult terrain. Okay. 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 It's all kind of starting to slope down. Got all right. Uh, you guys are in there initiative wise. Uh, uh, so I get to go first, which is yep. dope. And everybody because... gets their readied actions until their turn. Their uh, shield raises and everything. All right. Well. Um. So I also get su <clears throat> surprise attack. So if I, yeah, if I started a fight. Uh, if I rolled on initiative to start my fight, or sorry, rolled on stealth or deception to start my fight for the initiative, uh, everybody who has not acted yet are flat is flat-footed against me. Yep. Uh, That's a thing. So, I'm gonna... That applies for everybody. Because yeah. everybody's stealth to start the fight. Oh, nice. Uh, well, uh, that's a specific rogue ability. Oh, I don't know it? if they okay. all... Yeah, surprise attack is a, is a thing that I have. Well, um, sorry, guys. That's yeah, I was giving it to you, but Batusi said, fuck you, that's my thing. Look, dog, if I get <laughs> special stuff, none of you else get special stuff. You can figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah, all sorry, right. I just had a fucking pen. Okay, there we go. 5, right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm just going to get all the way over here and just kind of run straight into the room as fast as I can and just try to shank this one real quick. Um, Remember, it's difficult so, terrain on the first couple squares there. Oh, okay. So uh, even if I kind of go around like this, one. Uh, uh, I'll do. Uh, you get one one square of difficult terrain. Okay. So in that case, I'll have to. That's tw double. So I'll have to stop a little yeah. bit further, but that's fine. All right. Uh, ch 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 let's punch him in the face, I guess. And hope that it works. I'm just going to roll with this. With a knife? You going to punch him in the face with a knife or just punch I've him got... in the face? I've got a short sword. I'm gonna stab him with a short sword. That okay. that's what my plan is here. Um, this one's probably not with a sharp object. It. Yeah, that's a 13. Oh, but he's flat footed, so maybe that'll hit. All right, so um, uh, here we go. Damage. Ooh, that is a solid 14. Uh, you murdered that one. <laughs> All right, and. So at this point, I'm kind of there's like a big hole in the ground, right? That's what's going on. Yeah, here. It, it's like sloping down at like a 45. And they're they're upwards. Uh, they're down. They're down. Oh, they're they're kind of on the edges of the hole. They're down. Um, do you oh, have shit. the high ground? I have the high ground. And in this case, I'm just gonna ready in action. Like when someone gets in my space, attack them. I guess. Uh, I, I don't mean, know if you don't have enough do. actions for it. You you moved and you attacked. Right, so I've got one more. Yeah, yeah. What can I do with that other action? Mm. I guess you can ready to... I guess you can ready to attack, but you'll take your multiple attack penalty on it. Oh, that's reasonable. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm fine with that. I just didn't... I just wanted to stand up here. I have the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. Yeah. All right, Greg, you're up. Um, Okay. I'm gonna go in, like right to the side of that door, and I somehow lost him. 
and then I'm gonna cast electric arc on those two. I guess it's probably okay. the closest one and the next closest one. Okay. Number three and number two. Got it. You can you guys see that if you click on them? We can't click on them. Mm, no. Okay. I didn't. I was just curious if you could see the bubbles or not. That's good, actually, because then you that can is... manipulate the initiative track. Just a reflex. Yeah, that one. Uh, yep, I think so. Let me look. Let me look what the reflex is. I wondered what you're waiting on, and then I realized it was me. <laughs> What's your DC? 17. Okay, uh, the first one fails it, second one passes it. Doki. <clears throat> damage. Uh, it did not roll the damage. Eight damage. Uh, he looks pretty fucking bad. That's it. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong number. Son of a bitch. Uh, okay. It's number three. All right. Uh, so that will be this guy is going to throw darts at Tusi. Is that what it says they do? Yeah. So if you want to get down into the sinkhole, it is, um, uh, it is a, an athletic check to navigate the steep slopes. What about skis? Does that give me a <laughs> advantage? Skis. If you take the time to get the skis out, put the skis on, and ski down the slope, I'll let you make it an acrobatics check in a lower DC. Okay. <laughs> I mean, fuck, why not? I'll see you in three turns. <laughs> <laughs> Here I come. God. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to throw darts. Uh, yeah, they're actually they're actually a little deeper in the hole. So we're going to put them here, here, and that guy's going to be where he is. All right, so first guy's going to throw darts at Tusi. I can't see that die. Um, 17 do it, too. Sure, I, see. Well, I think I am right at 17. Sorry, you're, hold on. You're at 18 is what it says. I am at 18. Yep, Sweet. that is correct. Okay. Nope. He, uh, he, he, draw, he throws two darts. He throws one, draws one, throws one. That doesn't, uh, doesn't happen. Go ahead, John. All right. <clears throat> Going to, These uh, are wimpy. move up. Do, can I see him right here? Uh, you can see the top of this one's head. The top of that one? What if I go right here? The, you can see this one and this one. This one and this one? Yeah, you can see those back ones. But I can't see this one? Yeah, you can't see that one. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> he's, he's down deep. You have to go up one more to see that one. Okay. Well, I'm just going to electric arc the back two. Okay. Yep. Uh, DC 17. Uh, fail, fail. Alright, uh, how much? Is that 1d4 plus <clears throat> 7? Or no? Wait, yeah? Spellcasting mods, wisdom, right, okay. Okay. So One, what's your... 1d4 plus 4, uh, 5 damage. Uh, and the second one? Uh, oh, I have to do it per one. Okay. Yep. Yep. Ah, uh, another five. All right. Go ahead. Or no, I've got a guy. The guy for that. Uh, this one's gonna throw darts at Tusi because that's who he can see. Uh, actually, no, he's gonna throw darts at Greg because Greg hit him. Oh, that's better. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's better than we got on Tusi. It hits me. Uh, yep, he, they, he hit you with both of them, Greg. And they are, uh, you take two damage total. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go, got me go excited ahead, there. <clears throat> yeah, I know, right? Okay. Uh, These guys so are pushovers. As if, uh, can I just fall into the pit because I have slow fall? Or do yeah. I need to attempt to? 
I'd say you're gonna have to jump into the pit, but yeah. Like okay, you have so to clear it so you don't trip, right? You need to be in the air. Oh, sure. Sure. So that's where I'm going. Okay. So you're gonna hop. Uh can you give me yep. maybe give me an athletics check on the landing just to see I mean it'll be really low DC. Just to make sure you don't land on some weird like rubble and twist your ankle. Oh sure. I got bird ankles. Uh uh acrobatics check? Uh let's do Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh sixteen. Yep, you're good. Bird okay. ankle, you're fine. All right, so that was one action. Uh, my next action is I'm going to swing on the guy right in front of me. Yep. So we're doing a 19. That'll hit. Okay. And it is 1d6 plus 3, so 6 damage piercing. That'll kill him. All right. Scrawl. You got another one? Uh, I got one more action. I think I'm going to hold steady with my shield raised. Maybe I'll ready in action if one comes to me. I'll ready in action if one comes at me. Well, you can just go ahead and raise your shield. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it lasts the whole time. And it's not a reaction that way. Yeah, it's just okay. up, isn't yeah. it? Like, yeah, it's, yeah, you just raise it for the whole... So you raise it for the whole like time between your turn and the next turn. Oh, yeah, and okay. And you can still use your reaction to shield block. Sure, let's do uh, it. Okay, okay, that's how that works. Yeah, shield block red. Okay. <clears throat> Good then. Uh, so number two, seeing his buddy just get murdered by a bird, uh, is going to throw two darts at you. Lee? Okay. Would you like to try to block either of them? Uh, yeah, I'll block one of them, I guess. Which one? First one or the second one? Uh, first one. Okay. So the first one does hit you. Uh, and it does uh, two damage, so your shield hardness will cover it. Okay. So you just don't take damage. And your shield doesn't take damage either. Oh, I don't have to. Okay. All right. Because is, your shield only takes damage if it's above the hardness value. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Go ahead, Tusi. And John, were you saying something? Uh, Was I saying? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Right. No. <laughs> I, I thought I heard your voice. At this point, uh, there's just two of them down there. I'm not really threatened by either of these things. I don't really think it's worth me wasting my time um, come, jumping down or doing anything else. So uh, I'm just going to kind of walk around. Uh, 5, 10, 15. You going to search the room or what? 25, 30. I'm going to walk to this door and see if the uh, see if this door is locked effectively. Is this, do I have to like uh, this door over here? I mean, it'll open. Okay, so I'll just open the... Uh, actually, no. I remember what's over there. I'm just going to stand by the door. Uh, I think... Do I have to... <laughs> is, this a narrow, is this a narrow ledge? Uh, you don't have to squeeze there. You're okay. okay. All right. Well, I'm going to stand by this door, and I'm going to take out a throwing knife uh, just in case somebody else doesn't kill it. Uh, next turn, I'll throw one at, at one of these guys. Okay, so you've got a short sword in one hand, a throwing knife in the other. Got it. Yep. We're just sitting here with a throwing knife. Okay, Doki, Greg. Uh, so electric arc again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that meme I said. Yeah. <laughs> electric arc. Uh, this time with meta magic spell extend. <laughs> mildly strong. It's pretty good. Uh, uh, pass crit fail. Okay, well the crit failure guy takes twelve. Uh, he dies. Um. Yeah, I don't really want to do anything else. <laughs> Is the okay? So electric okay. arc spellcasting ability modifier. <clears throat> Is that everything? Like wisdom plus my trained. Yeah. Oh, then I was missing out on three damage on each of those guys. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Wait, it yeah. didn't... it wouldn't have killed him. So eight instead of five is wait wait wait, wait. spellcasting ability modifier is just your ability mod. That's why I did. Okay, okay, just, that's what I was like. I was like, was no, 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 not your spellcasting yeah, mod. Your your. It's the ability modifier. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, got it. Okay. So you were good. Be Sorry, John, I misunderstood. Broke otherwise. Yeah, I just <laughs> yeah. haven't played right, this last one forever. Is going to try to. He's going to try to climb out of the pit. TC, do you have attack of opportunity? Uh, I do not have attack of opportunity now. Uh, he crashes through this door. 
and is hollering and yelling. Uh, and then you see him uh, he a little more gently. Uh, this this other door, he blows it off the hinges and a little more gently uh, squeezes by and disappears. All right. Uh, you guys, somebody has undercommon, don't you? I don't. Yep, that's me. Uh, you you hear him yelling, uh, "Boss Grog, Boss Grog," and Where's he's yelling ball? he's yelling for help. Okay. Row row. Uh, and that'll uh, be back to. Uh, so Tusi, that uh, that door is in pretty bad shape. The one, this this one. I I'm just gonna kind of barely hanging. I'm gonna step like around. I'm just gonna like peek and can I like peek I... around to see what's there for as Wait, a reaction? Is it back to Tusi? Did you skip me and John? That might uh, be. That might have happened. Because I feel like I just acted. yeah. Because yeah. Well, Greg acted, yeah, and then yep. I totally skipped you and John. Yep. All right, this guy well, didn't didn't warn anybody. He's still down here. I don't know how I did that. Well, I think he moved. Well, I don't know when he goes, but no, he's he's this bo very bottom one. I oh. I actually skipped you guys, just hardcore. Oh, oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. I'm really good at it. Like this okay. is okay. That's okay. You are go very. Ahead, uh, go ahead, John. I don't uh, know why I do that. I'm gonna electric arc him. You know. Yeah. Just go ahead, so he doesn't warn anybody. Yep. Any more than it's already been warned, maybe. Uh, DC 17. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. well, how much damage would he, I have done? He crit Six. failed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was. He yeah, was he bad. crit failed it. He okay. died. <laughs> All right, so he doesn't warn anyone. Uh, by the way, guys, just so you remember, I do have the uh, spike snare. Just by the way. I don't know if we want to put that somewhere, but I've got it. Yeah. It does things. Nah, not worried about it. Okay. Um, do we want to loot these guys? <clears throat> um, I'm still worried about whatever might show up later, so uh, I'm not ready to loot yet. All right. Well, uh. Um, I'm yeah. Like I think, I mean, you can go down, and start looting, but I'd be uh, I'd be a little bit worried about what could come through the door. Well, I'll just um, what was that two actions? I guess I'll just raise my shield here in this doorway. That's it. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. I guess I'm gonna climb up here next to Tusi. Do I need to make a really check to climb scared. up? I'm here. Okay. No, I was looking this, something. I was looking cool. something up. Do I need to make a check to get up there of some sort? Uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead. What do you? Uh, athletics. 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 Uh, I rolled an eleven. With your mod? Yeah, with my mod. All right, you don't quite make it. Boop. You, you, nothing bad happens. You stop right there. Okay. Okie dokie. Anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Tusi. Well, can I? I'm gonna peek. Can I peek around the corner and see if that zombie thing's still there? So the door's closed still because the guy didn't burst through. Okay. Can I? Uh... We, ret we retconned that. Oh, I thought the thing was on the other side of the door. Yeah, it's like right. Whatever you saw was like right here. Okay. So, paying. but but this door is still intact. Oh, I see. I see. Because I see. the guy didn't burst through it. You retconned it in the middle. I thought he burst through the first one and didn't burst through the second one. Uh, it's my he, he wasn't yeah, supposed I know I to go at all. Was the thing. He John was, was supposed to murder him. Yeah, I was supposed to murder him. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed out on that. All right. Well, cool. I am going to uh, attempt to. I mean, I guess I'm going to wait for everybody else to get in position, probably, uh, before I open the door. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to delay until until Lee's up okay. here. 
All right, well, uh, everybody roll athletics checks for navigating through the thing uh, that is not already over there in Tusi. And then we'll just do it this way. <laughs> I got a 26 this time. You are all sorts of there, Lee. Boom. Uh, for athletics? Yep. Or you can just walk around if you're not going to stand yeah, like yeah, in here. I was going to say, you can, can go, just, like, you can go, go. Like, down. Yeah. Yep, you can go around it if you want. Yeah. But if you want to stack up with them, you'll have to roll. Nah, I'll, I'll just... You know, I'll be here. I don't know if uh, Greg wants to be like up in front, or I can be here. Wherever you want. Where are you gonna be, Greg? Um, honestly, I would maybe go here. You're gonna go there. No, I'll go right here. Yeah, that works. Okay. Right. All right, what are you doing? Um, what? What time do? of day is it? Is it just midday? Or are we just middle of the day? Yeah, it's early. Okay, that's it's cool. like early. You guys got an early start. Oh yeah, because it's only half an hour away. Um, yep. Well, um, I say we look at what's through that door. Peek through. Do you see yeah. you doing it? Yeah, I'll, I'll peek. What do, what do I need to do? I'll try to open the door open very the door. slowly. Okay. A 15-foot stone walkway spans a narrow stretch of swamp water, connecting the ruined keep to a large stone outbuilding. Double doors block each end of the walkway. Standing before the southeast door is a seven-foot-tall skeleton dressed in armor made of gnarled roots, bones, and rusted metal. The skeleton clenches a morning star in one weathered hand with its weapon's heavy spike tip resting on the walkway at the skeleton's feet. Yep. Yes. What yes. you got, Toos? Um, all right, well... I think we try to lure it in. I don't think we want to fight in the fucking hallway. Uh, is it a statue or is it alive? Do we know that it's animated? I don't know that we know uh, that it's how animated. How about now? I can uh, hear you now. Okay, what do you got? You're up. Uh, we, were, we, were, we were just trying to figure it out. Um, what yeah, we wanted I, to do. I was just saying, this, it, is it just a <clears throat> statue or is it moving? Like... Too, so you do not see any movement yet. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess I could try to, I could try to deceive it, but I don't feel like that's the right move. You could hug uh, a throwing knife at it. I guess if it reacts. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll do that. I'll take, I'll take out a dagger and, uh, I'll take out a dagger, um, and then I'll chuck a dagger at it. Okay, give me a roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> into some stone uh 24 uh that'll hit all right he takes four damage okay uh so the uh the skeletal guard uh l collapses into bits of wood and metal making an awful noise uh <laughs> just loud crashing the the morning star flops to its side it was just a a crudely assembled statue made by the little gremlins all right, well, now I'm going to uh, <laughs> bum rush the next door. Uh, so, because uh, I guess that was two actions, so. I'm just going to get up second. on this door. And I'm just going to get up yep. on that door and, uh, like, back to the wall, ready to stabby, stabby anything that comes through. Uh, I no okay. longer have a, I only have my short sword because I threw the dagger that was already in my hand. So Okay. Give me, you got to give me just a second. No worries. I tried to be sneak. I tried to be fast about it. Yeah, you were fast about it. You were all sorts of fast. Of course, of course, he's a, a thing in a different book that I have to look up. Okay. Yeah. I'll stand up and acquire this other book. I don't like the sounds of that. What, standing up? No, there's a guy that's pretty fucking rough. That's how they make sure that he has all the books. 
Yeah, yeah you have to buy all the Beast series because, it, or I mean, you could just look them up in the SRD. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like all this shit is, is probably there. Okay, so that's a that's a number. That'd be too easy then. Okay. Uh, so we are. I'm. I think I'm good. To C A to C Greg. That's to you, sir. Um, can I squeeze by everybody? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no problems. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I guess I end up here. Sure. Mm -hmm. I forget, this is the room that I sent my bat into, right? Earlier? Yeah, the one you're standing in right now, yes. Oh, 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 not the lower one. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna move a little farther, <laughs> I think, <laughs> and then uh, make sure my sling's drawn. Okay. Um, go ahead, John. I'm going to go right here. And I guess I'll just raise. Well, I'll pull out my slings one handed, right? Technically. Like, uh, how's yes, that work? you have to, it takes a second hand to load it. Right, right, but. But yeah, I mean, I, like, if shield, you can, right, you can I can have do it, yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah, so I'll get the sling out and then uh, raise my shield. I guess that's the three actions, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, go ahead, Lee. Are you guys ready for the door to open? I yeah. Mean, we, ready we, as we, I love Yeah. All right. I'm going to move up. I'm going to raise my shield, and I'm going to open the door as my last action. Okay, that's what I like to hear, Lee. I get to reveal some math. Okay. Chunky. You ready? That dude have a pitchfork? All right. He does. All right. Splintered framing in the ceiling and floor hint that thin wooden walls once divided the stone building's interior. With those walls demolished, only a single large chamber remains. Rubble, swamp vegetation, and mud piles and heaps like foul nests. Uh, rubble, swamp vegetation, and mud piles and heaps like foul, like foul nests, while a larger stack of rubble, sticks, and bones looks almost but not quite like a throne. A flattened mound of sand with a few dozen bits of wood and stone stuck into it covers the floor before the throne. On the throne, you see a, uh, a, grim, one, a grim one that's a little larger uh, in stature, and as the door opens, uh, he bangs his pitchfork on the floor uh, and he you hear him speaking in common yeah he in an imperious voice uh, says it demands to know why you've come to bother him uh, and why you're here before he attacks Atari oh Um, um, well, someone want to go ahead and answer that? Uh, uh, I've got good charisma. You know what? I'm going to do a shameless request of him and tell and ask him if he could just not attack the town. <laughs> okay. He says, "No, no, I have, I have no plans to attack the town. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to attack Otari." Who is? He, he says, "I'm a harmless, I'm a harmless, friendly gremlin." I think he's lying. Uh, what's that? What's your insight? What's your insight, <laughs> uh, Mod John? Insight. Uh, it is. What do you mean perception? Uh, yeah. Uh, plus seven. Okay, you uh, you sense that he uh, he's kind of backpedaling a little bit on his words, and he, he's he's kind of floundering, trying to uh, you know he he's clearly trying to cover something up. Uh, I'm going to be like, 
well, why don't you tell us what you're up to here? Uh, he he uh, stammers and staggers. Says, "This is this is my home. You're you're you come in and you you break my things and and hurt my people. Your guys he says, you guys attacked us. Yeah, your guys attacked he us says, first. We were just uh, you see him." Uh, he stands up from his throne and uh, and he sweeps his he sweeps his little uh, little pitchfork or trident uh, and dashes the sand uh, across the room uh, and you know he surges to his feet and says no he says he says no no but there you, we we need not fight he says I I have no plans no no plans to fight no plans. Um, do I, do I think he's deceiving me? Uh, you think he's, you think he might be up to something, but he's, he's not taking a, a super threatening pose. Okay. Uh, where are the other three goblin or, uh, gremlins doing? Uh, they're kind of. They're just kind of standing, standing there at the ready. Uh, you see, you see this one kind of, uh, you see this one kind of shift back a little bit, like he's kind of cowering away from the door. Uh, and uh, so, Boss Scrog, uh, he asks why you're here. He says, "Why are you here? If not to, if not to hurt my people." Uh, we saw that there was a light here. And we were sent to investigate it. He says, light. He says, he says, there's no light. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay. He says, oh. Okay, nope. He uh, he does know about the light. Okay. He his eyes get uh, his eyes get wide and he shakes his head and he gives you a warning that the light's the creep uh, is is a creepy haunt. He says every night the light glows and he's worried there might be a big ghost up there on top of the tower or on top of the lighthouse. Have you dealt with ghosts before out here? Uh, he says, he says, yeah, there are, uh, he says, there are all sorts of glowy ghosts. Uh, would I know that he's talking about maybe like wisps or something? Uh huh. Because I have wisp lore. Uh, well, he says glowy ghosts. Uh, you can ask him. Do you mean wisps? Wisps? No, no. He says, he says, nope, nope, ghosts. ghosts. He says, I see, I saw ghosts. And he points. He points to the north. Um, I'm gonna kind of. He says. He says ghosts and ghosts and bogies. Bogies. And bogies. What do bogies look like? Yeah. What bogies? What are bogies? He says they are creepy. Creepy, scary. What, um, what? Would you I give mean, us anything to get rid of these? Yeah, I'm he says, we, he says we stay, we stay away, we stay away from the bogies. He says this, he says this, uh, what is he, what's he gonna call it? He basically says the keep is. He says, "This is this home is not as not as safe as our as our last." Where was your last? He says, "Below." He says, "Until the until the mushroom-eyed people uh, chased us up here many nights ago." Um, what? I guess is that normal? Would I guess are they would gob or like gremlins and like the. Mushroomoid people would they uh, 
are they enemies like commonly known to be enemies or he says they're he says they're terrible enemies terrible enemies of the mudlicker tribe okay mudlickers they were eating what, uh... mud they were eating mud <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> What what's in it for us if uh, if we, we help you make this place safe? He says you you do that. He says I give you a, a a big pile of shiny gems if you go downstairs and kill all the mushroom eyed men and defeat the. Oh, I, I lost, we lost you on the last one. Defeat the. Oh, uh, I'll give you. A, he promises a. He says he'll give you a big pile of shiny gems if you go downstairs, kill them all, and defeat their king. Mm. Mm. I'm in. Why the hell not? No, he's killed him later. Right, right. Why the hell not? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just XP grind. <laughs> He says, "You you do it. You go. You go uh, kill the mushroom mind men or the mushroom mind people." How do we get how downstairs? Do we... Yeah, yeah. How do we? Okay, get so he's going to tell you uh, that the way downstairs. Look at us. We're already going the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> do any of us know about the All mushroom right. people? Well, we can get downstairs first. I. I have, a, right. I have Otari lore. I, have, uh, I, I guess I guess I should use that. I'll use I Otari of, lore. I have a lot of nature too. Maybe I might know something. I mean, are we doomed to failure if we go try to kill these guys? I guess is what I'm interested in. Yeah, if we do, we turn around, we come back, we kill him, it'll be fine. All right. Uh, yeah, good call. He's got a pile of gems somewhere. Right. I'm down to help him at first, though. We'll try to be. We'll try to be nice to the goblin friend. Okay, so he says, I got to figure out the way down. Give me a second. Fuck's the best way down. Nope, that isn't it. There it is. Okay, that's the way down. I got to get my little second level map out here to make for damn sure I'm telling you guys the right way. I wasn't prepped for second level things, but that's fine. We're fine. That is a uh, a way you guys can go. Okay, so that's B6. I love it. I love it. B6. Okay, where's B1? Okay, that makes sense. Boy, that's B1. So he would know that... Uh, He points. He points out. Uh, he says basically he he draws you a little. Or he doesn't draw you a little crew map. He just says this through here is the way downstairs. Okay. Uh, and he says be careful to be careful of the uh, what do you want to call it? Be thing number three. He wants to, uh, he says, be careful of the swamp dragon. Oh. Uh, he says it lives in the caves. Uh, <laughs> have I ever heard of a swamp dragon? Well, let me find <laughs> out. <laughs> I gotta do a little scrolling here for a second, John. I gotta find it said Swamp Dragon. God. And know what see what you might know about it. It's quite a bit of scrolling as it turns out. Boy. Just because the way it's laid out. It's you it's fine. You'll all be fine. I'm sure. Definitely not in the level ten section, right? Uh, no, it's not even in this book. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. That's what that thing is. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me... Oh. Let me find the right page in the bestiary for this and see if you what you know. I love that they don't... He's just, like, calling it whatever he wants to call it. It's fine. Moderate worry. <laughs> uh, let's see, John. What are you using? What kind of lore? Um... 
I guess nature. I feel like that would fall under nature. Okay. You're confused. You've never heard of any uh, any type of dragon that specifically inhabits swamps. Uh, though there are, you do know there are types of drakes. Uh, there are types of drakes that kind of that typically inhabit some different some different kind of climates that are similar to swamps. Right. That, uh, that like water and prey on fish. But he's saying this thing lives in a cave. Yeah. I mean, I guess dragons live in caves, but. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um. I guess. I also want to know, like, what else is in this castle up here? Like, if you could explain, like, what these other rooms are. I mean, clearly he knows this place well enough. Can you give me a diplomacy check? Uh, sure. Plus five. Um. Is this an outrageous request? Because I have shameless request. No, it's it's not an outrageous request. Okay. Uh, 18. Okay. Uh, he, uh, he will draw you a map. is what he says uh so he starts to draw stuff in the sand so he okay i'm gonna have to take a second and prep this map okay <laughs> it's a very specific uh it has some very specific areas that, that he gives you. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to start revealing stuff on the map. All right. So he draws a little map of that area. All right, that's the way down. Where's the next area? He draws that. Uh, what's in this room? I ask him. I don't know what way yeah, we want to yeah. do this. Give me a second. Yeah, I don't know if you want to like reveal it and then ask her. Uh, and then he said uh, he reveals out here. He draws this. Oh. He draws a little scribble of you know. Okay. The, so the thing out there. Oh, that's the lighthouse. Mm hmm Okay, alright. Uh, and then he said he can see... Why would he, why would he reveal that? That doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, it does. Okay, so he says he knows that the light comes from the top of the, the lighthouse. He's seen it. He crawled up, he climbed up the wall of the little building he's in, and he can see the top, and that's where the light comes from. Okay. This is the top. Um, and then he also is going to draw you a map of something different. We're going to shift you over here for a second. Yeah, I was at least half ass ready. Wow. <laughs> so he shows you this. Okay. He says this is the this was their old home. Oh. This is this is, this is where they used to where they used to live. Basement this, is, or whatever. this is downstairs from that one room. Yep, yeah. See, this is this is the ancestral home of the mudlickers. Wow. Is that the cave he was talking about, or is that something else? Yeah. Where's this uh, 
dragon that we have to worry about. Uh, he says... It is, uh... He says it's in the caves. Oh, okay, that is exposed. Good. That makes way more sense. Oh. oh. He says it lives out here in the caves. Oh, okay. Out here? Yep, he says this is where the where the swamp dragon is. He says, be careful. He said mud lickers, he says mud lickers are small enough they can they can go through here and get away from it. He says it doesn't chase them through there. Could I fit through there? Fuck, I don't know. I'm you three that. foot. I don't know oh, how I'd say so. A mud liquor is okay. Okay, so I you could can fit through there. Fit through there. Okay. I mean, I think yeah, I think you fit through there. Okay. Designated so that's scout. What True. That's what uh, that's what he knows, and you were asking questions. I'm gonna take you guys back. To yeah, the, yeah. To the other one. Yep. yep. Okay. Sorry, I'm just making like colored markers on your maps. <laughs> it's oh, good to like you that way. We my notes. No. Is yeah. This yeah, the is this this the way downstairs? This right yep, here. These are the stairs. Okay. Yeah, he gives you a really crudely drawn map. It's not nearly as pretty. Right. Yeah. But I'm yeah, too yeah. lazy to lazy to crudely draw your map. Um, yeah, that seems reasonable. How many mushroom people are there? That's a good question. Uh, he holds up four fingers. Four. Okay. He says at least this many. At least this many. <laughs> how, how many fingers does he have? <laughs> uh, eight. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Valid. And then he, while you're while you're kind of looking away and trying to figure out how many fingers he he has, he he puts up another one. So now he's <laughs> got five fingers up. Oh, okay. Um. Do you mind if I confer with my friends here about, uh, just, uh, just a quick, you know, uh, he says, he says, no funny business. You killed him. Uh, you killed the mushroom. I'd been, uh, I'll, all right. All right. And he, yeah, he waved you away uh, and it's, it's a clear dismissal from him. That well, uh, he's dismissing you from his throne room. Do you want to just close the door? <laughs> sure. Walk away? Yeah, alright. Yep. Uh, cool. Alright. Okay. Well? <laughs> that was an experience. <laughs> should, should we look in the other rooms before we go down? or just... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright. I'm coming back over to this door. <laughs> yep. Sorry, come out here. Uh, I will, uh also did I get a read on what this thing is at all? Uh yeah. Yeah, you can I can give you a little picture of it. Give me a second. Sure. Let me let me do a thing. I think I have a decent picture of it. I can kind of zoom in on it. It looks like a ant or a termite or something. Yeah, it kind of looks like... <sighs> this is as good as we're going to get. Does look like a termite with a bird beak. Yeah. This is sort of similar. You Let me get the Discord. stats out of this picture. Oh, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hear you. Oh, I can drop it in Discord, not I can drop i drop the discord got it yeah that's what i'm doing i was just taking a picture of the book oh yeah I gotcha. I gotcha because that's an easy way to do it for me it sort of looks like this <clears throat> it's got a little less uh it's a Thank little you. less spidery and a little more oh fun it's got a little more beak to it is it some sort of solifuge is that what it's called yes it is uh Bird. that's a that's a real critter i think yep S O L I F U G I D. Yeah. Ugh. Gives me the creeps just looking at it. Gross. Shit. Winner. <clears throat> Alright, how do I write so, you... so, what are you guys up to? 
Well, okay. well, yeah, I think at this point we wander back uh, and we uh, just start checking out other rooms. I still think we should check out the lighthouse because that was sort of our primary thing. Personally. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Just because then we can report to... Um, uh, I'm blinking so hard. What's her name? You know it's a she, though. Yes. <laughs> I do. Uh, hold on, I've got the... Uh, thing open. God, that's terrible. Oh, they're like the camel spiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen those things before. They're awful. Ugh, God. Mm -hmm. uh, is it Rin? Rin. It is Rin. Yes, there it is. The Nixie? I don't know. I don't know how you Sinaxi say that. or Sanagski? I don't know how you say that X in there. Sanizi? Seems fine. Yeah, Sibinzi? seems fine. Sabinzi? I don't know. I think it's Sabinxi. Sabinxi? I guess it doesn't matter as long as we all call it. As long as we all say the same thing. Yeah. Or we just say Ren and nothing else. Okay. Yeah. All right. Outside this door, shield up, sword in hand, kicking the motherfucker open. <laughs> All right. Let's do it, team. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I am so ready. All right. Let's do it. Uh, what room number is this? Okay. It is. I've scrolled way back up now. Hold on. All right. So you. The uh, nursery. Wake them all up. <laughs> uh, monster. It's okay, we're friends with them. <laughs> it's true. Okay, uh, why do I not have... Oh, there we go. Okay. So you kick in the door. And you see... I'll tell you all about it in just a second. Wow. A little door right here. And... Oh... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that thing that'll fucking oh, it's it. you? Oh, it's a toe. <laughs> it's the thing that, that hurt you last so, time. You kick in the door. <laughs> it says a collapsed wooden staircase in the northeastern corner of this room winds up to a moss shrouded hole. The expanse of the fog fin is visible through a total collapse uh, in a stone wall to the west. A dead frog the size of a horse lies sprawled in the collapse. Oh. It's back. It's back legs uh, bitten off at the hip. It's actually back here, in the collapse. So its oh. back legs have been bitten completely off. But there's a dead frog, big old dead frog there. <clears throat> That's concerning. Back legs bitten completely off. It oh. did not bite it. Bit it off. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And you can kind of see out this way. You see that there's a there's a way kind of way out sort of thing. Give me just a second, Ashley walked in. I'm on mute. You guys figure out what you want to do. Maybe nice. drag it? No, that, that picture's fucking even worse than the other one, by the way. Yeah, no, the, the, the other one's way worse. worse. Yeah. Um, are you guys still posting spider pics? Fuck, yeah, you are. Damn it. <laughs> I hate spiders. Uh, they're, no, it's they're awful. Not, it's, they're not actually spiders. It's, a, it's in the like, arachnid family, but come on now. Like a cross Did you, between uh, a cricket and a spider, which is is it hairy and has legs? Yeah. <laughs> did you uh? Did you know that uh? You guys know what Pepe the Pig is? Well, I know Lee knows what Pepe the Pig oh, yeah, is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so did you know that there was an episode of Pepe the Pig that was banned in Australia because it told you that uh it was about uh spiders and they were like spiders are just your friends spiders won't hurt anybody. And they banned it in Australia because they were like, no, motherfucker, those spiders will hurt people. We do yeah. not need to be teaching our kids this. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah, I had uh, I'd heard that, but I also agree. I mean, we have some brown recluses and stuff. And, yeah, uh, not, not great. You should have a you should have a uh, a healthy respect for spiders. You know, I mean, like, you know, just yeah, leave them alone. Yeah. But. God, I used to see a uh, when I walked into when I walked into work, like I sort of have to walk down this long sidewalk, and there's like a chain link fence on one side. And uh, a couple of summers ago, there was a black widow out there that had a pretty nice web that I'd see every day when I went by. Um, God, 
I'd fun. stop and look at it once in a while. Yeah, it's you know, it's interesting. I didn't stick my hand in it, you know, in there or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't stick my hand in it. We were on yeah. a theology trip once oh, and my professor oh. took out his uh his camera bag and like you know, I was taking cameras or photos of something, you know, and like I just well, happened nah. to look over and there was a uh, black widow that like crawled into his bag and we're like, nope, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold nope, on. I knew where this was going. Fuck yep. that. Yep, absolutely not. Ugh. Yeah, so spiders, not great. <laughs> All right, so we're back at a, uh, a uh, frog the size of a horse. Did. The frog bite his own leg, or did something else bite the frog's legs off? Like he got stuck and he was trying to get himself loose. Brutal. Did, did, am I misunderstanding this? Like a daughter yeah. party situation. You just know it, it's it's <laughs> his back legs are bitten off at the hips. Like like a fox in a trap situation. But I'm gonna say no. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold on. Let me. Here, I got you, Lee. What's your nature, Bob? Oh. Uh... To that sheet. Nature mm. is plus zero. <laughs> All right, so you have determined that it does not look self-inflicted. Okay, sounds good. Because this thing has big tusks, uh, and it looks like the uh, the it's been bitten clean off, and there's no big puncture wounds from the tusks. Um, do I think? I don't know. I think it might have been one of those grubs. Can I kind of infer that with my nature? Like uh, probably not from where you're standing. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, I, you know, I feel like we would come into this room now that you've kicked open the door. <laughs> kick it in. Come over here. I think yeah. I said kick the motherfucker in. <laughs> kick that motherfucker in. Yeah, I'm going to be, right. like, this far away from it. <laughs> you know. Uh, okay. Uh, everybody roll me perception, throw it in the initiative tracker. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to get rid of all these people that you didn't fight. See, I put them in the initiative tracker, and then uh, you didn't fight them. Is this like a perception with the purpose of taking an initiative test? Because I get plus two to initiative rolls. Yes. Okay. So I'm at 13. Page are these on? How are there six? Who the hell? Six what? Eric, Lee, John. Oh, John's in here twice. Okay. Oh. What are you talking about? In the spreadsheet, there are six boxes. I was trying to figure out who the six. I only was. see four boxes. Oh well. Oh oh, you mean like oh. colored colored people? Colored boxes. John, John yeah, like you apparently. Cool. Hell yeah. I have two? Yeah, it's, maybe oh, yeah. you're logged in on your phone or something. I have no idea why this one is. Oh wait, do I have do I have the sheet up? Do I have a different <laughs> Yeah, you're probably logged into it twice. Where's the other Oh Is everybody in? Oh yeah, I have it up twice. Yeah, that's how. Is there? Okay. I've so John, as you're inspecting the uh, the frog for you know things. Yes. Uh, you see there is some shit crawling around in the frog. Oh good. And, uh... Good good. Come on, am I, am I in the? Okay, I'm in the right layer now. Give me a second. This is not where these things actually are when they show up. Oh, hey. I just stuck them in the way. Burn. Okay, so you see some... Oh, man, now he's on top of the frog. We're just going to get rid of the frog. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know where the frog's at. Yeah. All right, you see some giant maggots. One of them slithers out of the frog. Uh, and then you are up, John. <laughs> well, you know you what perceived I'm... the maggots trying to maggot you. Well, you know what that means. It's time to electric arc these maggots. <laughs> <laughs> Let's shock the maggots. Yep. So, 17. Uh, yeah, that's right. I have to do a thing. 
Uh, it's reflex. Yep. Yep. Oh fuck! They both failed. All right. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's, they're maggots. <laughs> they're maggots. Uh, woo! I got a seven damage on the first one. Okay. Left one. I'm going left to right. So. Okay. And, and then the other one also got a seven. Wow! Look at that. At least I'm consistent. Um, Consistency. And then I'm going to raise my shield. Roger that. Like I do. <clears throat> Go ahead, Maggot 1. Maggot 1's gonna slither up here to John. Not like it do. Uh, and then it's going to... Uh... Oh, and when uh, when those took damage, they, uh, they both kind of shuddered and it's like some some shit just kind of gooped out of them. Oh, good. Around, around, in a circle around them. It's like they're kind of like they're throwing up. Oh, yeah. Nothing bad. Nothing bad for you. Was, you were out of range. Uh, so then they're, he's going to try to give you the old mandible, John. Yeah, yeah. Sounds right. Uh, how does uh, 17 do? I have an 18 with my shield. Uh -huh. And, uh huh. <laughs> is it 16 without? Or is yes. it 18 with? 16 without, okay, 18 cool. with. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so he's going to try to mandible you again. Uh-huh. Uh, so that one, I think, does it. Uh, no, it does not do it, because your shield. Huzzah. Huzzah shields. Huzzah. Uh, all right, uh, go ahead, Tusi. Oh, my God. All <laughs> right, well, um, I, I don't, I did think I did have my short sword out, because I had it out when I was... Uh, when you're over there, ah, whatever. I'll take my short sword out. I'm assuming I don't have it. Uh, yeah, you sheathed it to talk 15, to the the man. Twenty, twenty five, and then that gives me five of difficult. If I need five of difficult. Yep, you did. You need at least five. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and stab. Give him the old. Uh, he's not flat footed, so that's sad. Yep. Uh, that's probably not gonna do it. Um, twelve. No dice. Okay, that's all I got. Okay, Lee. All right, all right. I'm gonna move up. Okay. I'm gonna take a stab at him. I got a sixteen. That'll hit. Okay. I hit him for nine damage. All right. He's hurt bad, and uh, he's gonna regurgitate some shit. Uh, and all of you that are next to him are going to take a fortitude save. Oh. Well, I'm bad at those. Sorry, team. Uh, Here we go. I got a 25. Uh, saved. 14. 14. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Fail. We're in it together. <laughs> uh, you guys are both sickened one. Cool. Uh, uh, my last action is going to be to raise my shield. We're learning things. Mm. We're doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Lord, okay. Dead. I have no idea, but you want to tell me? So yes, I don't have I to will. look it up. You feel <laughs> ill. Second always includes a value. You take a status penalty equal to this value on all your checks and DCs. Ooh. Um, you can't willingly ingest anything, including elixirs and potions, while sickened. Oh. Uh, you can spend a single action retching in an attempt to recover, which lets you immediately attempt a fortitude save against a, the DC what? of the effect that made you sicken. On success, you reduce your sicken value by one, or by two, on critical success. Interesting. Yep. Alright, this one's gonna try to maggot, uh, uh, it's gonna go ahead and try to maggot John. I'm at 17. Give him a gnaw. Alright, that one's going to... You're, say you're at 17? I'm at 17 AC now, because of sicken. That that will hit. Are you going to try to block it? Yeah, I'm raising shield. Yeah. So you're going to use your shield block reaction? Yep. Okay, okay. It's a wooden shield. Says, so. Oh, that shield's so fucked. Yep. Uh, it's, you're taking seven damage and it's grabbing you. Okay, so... It's seven total. So you reduce it by the shield's hardness value. Which is three. Yep, so you're going to take four damage, and the shield takes uh, seven. The shield takes seven, so it has three hit points left, at least. And it's past its break threshold. Yes. So the shield is broken, Okay. but it's uh, but it's not completely fucked. You can repair it. Okay, uh, so I'm at that, and then I take four damage? <clears throat> yep. Okay, so I'm at four, 
Uh, and then it's going to, and it also is gra you are now grabbed. Yes. And it's going oh, to baby. gnaw your flesh for its last action. Yeah. yeah. Uh, give me a reflex save. And remember, you're grabbed. Uh, I don't know if that does anything to reflex or I don't, not. No, the, the... Uh, hmm. Flat footed and immobilized. Yeah. Yeah. So. Minus to AC. Yeah, so I only get a plus four to my <laughs> reflex, so let's see. <clears throat> oh, nat 20. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, right. We did it, boys. Yeah, 20, we did it. 24 altogether. We did it. We did it. He does not gnaw your flesh. Oh, thank God. Uh, but I'm go still ahead, grabbed. Greg. <laughs> yes, you're still grabbed. Uh, I... go Second ahead. goes away after there. my turn, right? Uh, six it has value. saves. <laughs> uh, let me check. I go ahead, it... Greg. You need to roll me some saves, probably. Yeah. Uh, fail, fail. Ooh, Actually, what's your DC? 17. Uh, it's a reflex, right? Is yes, there fail critical fail? Um, that's sad. Uh, seven on the fail, and then the other one was only ten with the doubling. Because I'm in rule. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the one closest to you, uh, dies, and then the other one that's grabbing John, uh. John, give me a, I don't know, oh, give me a reflex. reflex. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why a reflex. Probably it'd, it'd probably be a uh, fortitude actually. Uh, probably make more sense. Well, either way, they're about the same uh, number, uh, yeah, bonus okay. for me. So, um, we're only a thirteen. Okay, uh, John, you're gonna take. Uh, let's give you four damage from that electric arc that right. shocked the living fuck out of the one you, that had you grabbed. Now, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna command my familiar to fly over there and attack it. Okay. <laughs> Good old <laughs> plus one attack. Yeah. That's, yeah. Fourteen. Uh, that will hit. Oh, oh shit! It does one damage. Uh, it will die. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Woo! The bat. The bat. <laughs> Batman. Save Batman? the day. No, 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 no. I just chant that for like the next ten minutes. I'm just Straight. covered in fucking bile and shit now. Chris. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad deal. Ugh. Uh, you guys can go ahead and uh, I I know you can try to retch. I'm looking at sickened. Yeah, um, it's it's a fort save versus, <clears throat> um, the DC of the effect that made us sickened. Yeah, let me see here. I thought that those things ticked down, but I don't know about sickened whenever it goes away. I don't think I don't think it does. Round. I rolled a nineteen. You're well, good. Okay. Yep. I took I took my save. I have no, saved. All, a lot of them like frightened say they they go down. Oh yeah, this one I guess you just yeah I guess you just have to. You're just sickened until you until get I unsickened until vomit. you rest or or vomit. Um. Go ahead, John. Puke it up. Yeah, I, I don't know what that looks like as a plant, but. Right. Um, I don't know either. <laughs> Aren't uh, you immune? Are you immune to sickened as a plant? I honestly don't know. Hold Do on. you have a stomach? Like I don't. I don't really. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really have a stomach. So hold on. I suppose. I mean, I guess you can like... still feel nauseous. Plants. Yeah. Plants and sickened Pathfinder two e. I don't know. It's... Leshy is what you probably should have put. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, I would say, go ahead and roll the die, and we'll see if it matters. But this is something to look up for the future. Uh, I got another 13. All right. Uh, you are still uh, sickened uh, for a for another minute or so, and then there, uh, in a minute you can roll. That, yeah, it says there isn't a limit to how many times a PC can retch in a turn besides the normal action limit. So they can keep trying okay, to reduce keep, the keep doing value. It. Yeah. So basically, you are no, you're no longer sickened because you're out of combat, and you're... I'm just you can just making sit there my try to throw up until you do. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick a tendril down my throat, you know. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, cool, <laughs> exciting. Yeah, very yeah, exciting. Yeah. And this is—I don't know if I revealed enough of the map on the north side. There is a door here. I vomit up maple syrup. <laughs> you gotta decide what kind of plant are you, because if you're like, huh? I'm leafy. You're just leaking maple syrup. 
Yeah. Right? I feel like we can make money on this. Yeah. You can just subsist on... Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to get worse and worse. The jokes are real. All right. Uh, Gross. So... Things and stuff. What are we doing, fellas? Um, I'm going to make myself a berry real quick. Okay. Uh, okay. So it, with a 1d6 plus 4. Okay. Listen. And then are you going to rest for 10 minutes to regain your focus after making a berry? Yes. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'll so John's out for 10 minutes. Yeah, Does anybody gonna... need to lay on hands? Well, I mean, if he's I'm out for 10 minutes. Missing 2 HP, but otherwise, no. I got 7 I, points. I'm missing 1 HP, so I'm fine. I got 7 hit points. There we go. If we're, if we're going to rest for 10 minutes, I might as well heal one of you. How much right. do you have left, John? Uh, berries? No, how That's much do you have? I'll hit take points. it. Oh, I'm only down <laughs> 1 hit point. Yeah, you can give it to DC. Probably I am on the front line more. more. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I just happened to get six. grabbed. It was dangerous. So. You'll, yep. you'll heal so, for six, and then I'll just meditate for ten minutes. All right. So Lee and Lee and John are down for ten minutes. What are you guys gonna do in the ten minutes, uh, John and uh, well, QT and Greg? I'm gonna sneak around just to see what I can hear. Um, you gonna make so, some perceptions, and what are you doing? Listening at doors, or just searching rooms, or what? Yeah, I'm skulking uh, right now because I, I think that uh, I think that uh, there's something around this corner, so I'm just kind of skulking around to see if there's another hallway or something over there. Or is that a wall? Yeah, I'm just gonna listen for noise at every door that we can. Okay, uh, give me a perception check, uh, TC, for the rules. Say the you're exploring the room. All right, that is a twenty-three. Okay, you find stuff. Let me get up to where you find stuff at. Oh, this is that. Do 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 do. Uh, you find a section of the stone wall up near where you're standing. Uh, that slides aside to access it. There's an alcove uh, beyond the door that has several grooves in the stone caused by what looks like determined scraping. Oh. Uh, let me reveal what you found here. Little alcove. Okay. With some scraped out grooves in the uh, in the wall and floor area. Okay. Interesting. Our dwarf when we need him. All right. Well, I'll wait. You can try some recall knowledge and things potentially to uh, okay. try to figure out what's what this is about. Yeah, I will try to recall knowledge. I guess that's an eight, and I have absolutely no idea what my bonus is there. And so what it, skill are you using? Oh, that's a good point. Um, well, I'll probably use um. And and on those, you just tell me what skill, and I roll it. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I don't know. I think it probably makes sense to use survival or uh, nature, maybe. Yeah, nature. Uh, so that's a zero for me on my modifier. Doesn't, but... doesn't look, the scraping doesn't look natural. Yeah, that's fair. Well, uh, oh, I got no idea what it could be. Come try with crafting, maybe? Or occultism, both. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, I'll roll you both, Greg. You're just you're thinking about stuff. Uh, all right. So, Greg, your occult knowledge tells you uh, that this was uh, that these are runes that have been scratched out, um, and you know that they're like from. From what's left, it looks like it may have once been a teleportation circle. Oh. Oh, indeed. And it looks like uh, maybe somebody found found this a long time ago and gouged out all the silver that was in the runes uh, to sell. And it, the magic's been drained away. Okay. And permanently destroyed. 
to answer my next question. So. <laughs> what can I salvage? I was going to ask <laughs> if it was still magical. <laughs> nope, no, it is uh, no magic left. The magic's drained away. Hear anything in any doors? Or... Uh, were you listening at doors? Is that what I'm? That what yeah, that doing? was that was what I was supposed to be doing. I uh, got gotcha. you. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, I gotta check and see what's. I have a pretty trash perception, but. What's the mod? Three. Okay. Uh. You do shit like okay. this. What? No, you're good. I was just typing. I'm just seeing what... Uh, 14. Seeing what room numbers they are that you're listening to. To make sure that I... You said your perception was a 4? Or a 3? Three? 3. Can you still... 3, okay. Alright, so that door, you don't hear anything. Um, this door up here... That apparently I'm not on the ping thing. There you go. That door up there. Oh, no. You would have listened to this door next. You don't hear anything there. Next door over. I just rolled the same number three times, <laughs> by the way. Nice. On two different dice. Um, you hear some scraping in there. So just like... So it's like a... Just a light scraping noise. Wait, which door? I missed which door. Sorry. Uh, at this door. Okay. And then this door. Oh, you net pointed that one like a champion. Now I gotta see. You don't hear anything in there. Okay. And you're very certain there's no noise. I am going to also do the things. So this has not been explored. It's been revealed, but not explored. This is for my own peace of mind. Okay. Okay. What now, mm. ladies and gentlemen? Um. Well, so you're pretty sure the door in front of you, they're scraping, Greg? The one I marked with red, up, uh, upper right. Oh, okay, upper right. Okay. Um, not hear anything in any of the ones in the white one. I was sure there was nothing. The white one, you were sure there was nothing. Which one the was stairs. Open? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. All right. Well, um, I guess I think I I don't really have much else to do in this area um what are there doors i guess we can try to open this one all right well, do we want to open it at the same Actually, time we probably since we're at about 10 10 we probably could call it did you want to search true. any of the other rooms by chance that are open uh sure oh uh, i guess i guess we can't what other rooms are open to that i mean the ones Just that we know about like are you talking about like back the here the ones I meant the ones that you've already been in that nobody has searched anything. Oh, yeah, I guess we haven't oh. searched anything in here either. Like, we didn't really look in Literally here. Literally none of them. There's been a distinct lack of search and loot, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. I have a shitty perception, so I don't actually think about it. <laughs> All right, I'll go I'll go ahead and search the uh, the room with our, uh, with and, our whatever. And I'll called. look around this room. Yeah, this one that we came into. Okay. Uh, Perceives. Give me Okay, to see you find some things and stuff. Not really. You know, or you you see uh, that there's a buried spiral staircase leading downward there uh, that's buried by that rubble in the sinkhole. It's not just a sinkhole. There was a stairwell. There was a staircase. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got a 16 on my perception. Uh, John, you find. Let me scroll. A five. Uh, you don't find anything. Okay. 
too busy making jokes. <laughs> Anything else you want to check out? Um, oh. Was there anything in this, uh, that little, uh, rubble patch? You wanna check that out? The skin, where the skeleton one? Yeah. Whatever. I can go back over there. Go for it, since it's, we seem to have lost TC. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my bad. I, I, I spaced out for a minute. Oh, uh, I got a, got a text about fresh cookies upstairs, and I was trying to decide whether or not I should go get them. That's but, important. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, you absolutely should. Uh, yeah. John, if you pick through the rubble, uh, you find the uh, the morning star that the uh, you find the morning star that the skeleton had leaning up against its arm, uh, and it looks like it is uh, the rest of it's all kind of rusty and and corroded. The morning star is in really good shape. Wow. Oh. Um. Like like we're talking, it is. That's just a, barely dirty. That's a simple weapon, right? I can use that, but it's metal, right? It is metal. I can't use it. Who wants a morning star? Uh, uh, definitely not I, but I will, I will take it. If you don't have bludgeoning, you might want bludgeoning. I believe uh -huh. that is the same as my mace. I don't have bludgeoning, but I don't care. Yeah, it's 1d6. If anything, it'll sell for a gold piece. I guess it's versatile. Oh, it apparently too? does more damage, I guess. Oh yeah, it has it's versatile. What's that? Versatile P piercing? I was not piercing using you. a morning star in the first place. I'm confused. <laughs> I I don't know. They're they're better. Yeah, you want a morning star? Sure. Yeah, well there you go. I'll... So Greg, you pick it up and you, you give it a couple test swings. Um I do and an it, it feels check. Yeah, you can do an arcana, arcana check. Uh, fifteen. Plus you you have a plus. You have a plus one morning star. Oh yeah, even better. I was, I was loving it, guys. Oh yeah, it'll sell for a gold piece. I'm like, please, please sell it for a gold piece. Make my day. Um, <laughs> are there? Even All right, stars I think that's probably a good. In this uh, game. Well, no, there are not. I'm pretty sure that's a made-up thing, by the way. I don't, I'm not 100% certain. What's think the made-up thing? It might just be a Mordhau thing. An evening star. Or oh. Weapon. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm, I might be wrong. Um. The plus one is... Oh, is I know good? why I wasn't using a morning star, because it's strength. Light maces are dex. Oh. So... It was never called an evening star. It was just a long morning star. Like the long yeah. morning stars existed, but they never, you know. Right. I, I thought it was a made-up term. Yeah. It wasn't it is. Sure. All right, guys. I think that's a good spot to stop for now. Um, since it's about ten fifteen, or eleven fifteen, depending oh. on where you are. Yeah. I've got cookies upstairs. It's perfectly a good time to to call it. Yeah. Uh, does anybody have? Does anybody want extra? Do an extra session at some point, or where? What's everybody's schedule look like? I said Dude, I'm prep whatever. work wise. I'm I'm in decent. I'm in decent shape. I gotta I gotta find some tokens for downstairs still. But other than that, I'm not bad. We we're so, talking about doing something this weekend. Right? I've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off this. I've got um, through Monday. I can try to. I can find time to do something on Sunday. Monday, I'm busy. Uh, I'm, eh. Uh, no, actually, it might it, be hard because I'm playing 40k on on I'm Saturday. I'm playing 40k on Sunday. Yeah, but again, I can do it I can, evening. I can get up, but I, or a know. late. Yeah, whatever, I can do a late night or something. Whatever time if you anybody guys wants to do it. Yeah, yeah I, I might be able to do a late night one. Look, let me let me see. I'll ask. I'll see. Yeah. Lee, uh, what do you got going on? What late night would be better for me? I don't. I mean, if we do anything, it'll be during the day. So, Other, yeah. otherwise, honestly, I could do next weekend. Too. Like a, either Saturday or Sunday next weekend works for me. Uh, let me check my calendar, but I think I'm good. I work Saturdays, so it would be evening Saturday for me, but uh, Sundays I'm always off. So. I have nothing either. Nothing either one. So let's. Uh, I'll I'll just throw a throw throw everybody a text or something in the Discord. 
yeah. either tomorrow night or Saturday night. And we'll if we do it, let's plan for let's plan for Sunday night. Sunday night. Okay. Late. Yeah, and if I'll just poke everybody and make sure we're still good. All right. And if if we okay. are, we run it. If not, well, no biggie. Yep. Do you wanna do experience for like Yep. Hundred and forty. Hundred and forty. Okay. So what's our total at right now? Three thirty. Okay. Cool. Lee's at three thirty one. Why is he at three thirty one? I don't remember. He did something special. Okay. Probably he didn't kill special. he didn't kill a mimic this time. That's why I was confused. <laughs> I think he got crit off the bat. I don't remember. There was something. I don't remember. He did. He did something special. Yeah. But yep, that's all I got for tonight, guys. Uh, you guys are making pretty solid progress, yeah, at right. least through the the narrative section. Yeah. <laughs> well. What is your total? Three. You said three thirty. Yeah, yeah three thirty. Yeah. yeah. I don't really know how you're supposed to level up, but that's okay. Maybe there's a little something I'm missing somewhere. I'm going to draw a free hand up here because you guys haven't actually explored this. Seems reasonable. Just so we remember for next time. Yeah, we haven't been there. Right. there. There's probably a way to get to a level. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'll catch up with you guys later. All right. See you. All right. All right. See you. Where's my Discord? There it is. Oh, that was fun. Uh, I think. Anybody's in here and sticking around, I'm going to hop over into Destiny 2 here soon. And, uh, do some bounties and some of that stuff, uh, just to try and knock out some of the challenges. So, uh, if you're interested in that, stick around. I'm going to throw on some more lively jams, uh, from Boneworks. And then I'm will be back. So stick around.